We live in a time and age where we think a lot about what we're doing. We plan a lot, both in our work and at home. We analyze a lot. We think about our consequences, the consequences of our actions for other people, maybe for our kids, all the psychology that we know right now. We can overthink how we handle our kids. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we also think about ourselves, try to understand ourselves, listen into the body, all of these things that we also kind of talk on on the yoga mat. So we use our brain a lot, we overthink a lot. And sometimes I just wish I had that pause button that just could say pause and just have a little bit of peace and quietness in this roof over here. <laughs> but such a button doesn't exist. But what I find is that on a yoga mat, as I move and breathe, uh, that helps me down-regulate my thinking syndrome here and help me to find that peace and that maybe that healing I need. So welcome today to sit on the mat and maybe let go of thinking, analyzing all those things that are often involved with the left side of the brain. And as we move, breathe, not thinking, analyzing anything, we move more into the right atmosphere of, of the brain, so to say. And timing is everything. And uh, as you sit and just listen in, I love what is in the um, is Ecclesiastics. It says in uh, chapter three, there is a time for everything, a season for every activity under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to tear down, and a time to build, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance. Right now, it's time to pause and just be in that unspoken relationship with God. You're welcome to move on the mat if that's what you feel is right for you right now, but I hope that you've already pressed pause a little bit as I spoke. leaving all the important th thoughts <laughs> by the side of the mat and lean into the loving arms of God. Now you gather your palms in front of your chest. Maybe you need to open your eyes to see that I, this, I don't know, but you can take your arms out to the side like you're opening up, like there's a kind of a funnel leaving all the way down to your heart. And from there, you cross the hands in front of you and then move the arms out again as the funnel and into prayer pose and down. Again, move the arms out, open up, maybe a little bit of a back bend crossing the arms in front of you and maybe you will move the spine back take the arms up again maybe look up this time draw your hands into prayer pose again let's do that a few more times you don't have to move with the breath if it makes sense do so Just try to focus on the bodily sensations as you move. Just 
Don't have to put a lot of thoughts and prayers into this posture, into these movements. One last time. And stay with your hands in prayer pose. God, thank you for being present. Also, when we have that pause, You can open your eyes and find downward facing dog. Always welcome to do tabletop instead. So if for any reason you need another version of down dog, this is the one, or it could be the one. <laughs> All right, lifting your hip up and moving. Drawing your heels down, feeling the Achilles maybe get stretched without overdoing anything. And then walk your feet to the top end of the mat, fold forward. Reach your arms out to the side and again, that funnel position with your arms out to the side, open up your chest. Take your hands out to the side, fold forward. You're reaching down on the floor, step the right leg up. Take it back to the back end of the floor, bending the front knee, looking to the front. Moving back in what I call wide pyramid with blocks. If the floor is far, far away, just use them underneath your hand. Again, bending the front knee, high lunge, letting go of the floor, reaching your arms up. And then extend the front leg as we did before, almost, with our hands down on the floor. And then again, bending the front knee, hands down, step the front foot back, plank pose. On toes or knees, lower down, chest finds the floor. Inhale, lift up the sternum, look towards the sky. Downward facing dog, maybe as you exhale. And you might want to incorporate you, your ujjayi breath, that snoring, waving sound on your exhale creates such a nice rhythm as you move on the mat. To the front again, fold forward. Reach the arms up again, open up in this funnel, squeezing the shoulder blades back. Palms face down as you lean forward. Have lift, left leg up and to the back end of the floor. Looking to the front, lowering down your hip. Wide pyramid, walk your hands back, extending the front leg, folding forward. Again, bending the front leg, looking to the front, high lunge, let go of the floor, align the front knee with the angle. Extend the front leg. Wobbling a little bit, maybe. <laughs> Bending the front leg again, step it back, plank. If it fits with your breath, exhale, lower down. Take it your time. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Gonna do that with the pace of our breath. If it fits you, maybe I'll do it a little bit slower than we normally do. <laughs> Inhale to the front, walk or jump. Exhale, falling forward. Inhaling, high mountain arms out in that funnel. Exhaling, folding forward, arms out to the side, reach down to the floor. Half lift, right leg up. And exhale, lower that leg down. Inhale, move your chest to the front, 
hip down. Exhale, wide pyramid, forward fold. Inhale, bending the front knee. Exhaling, finding your high lunge. Inhale, extend the front leg. Exhale, bending it again. Inhale, lean to the front, step the foot back. Exhale, lower down. Cobra up dog, inhale. And maybe move over your toes back into down dog. Take a breath in down dog and just adjust. Breathe. And maybe side out. To the front, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Funnel high mountain, <laughs> inhaling. Exhaling, leaning forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Left leg moves back. Exhale, lower that toes down. Inhale, look to the front, hip down. And exhale, move back. Inhaling, preparing your high lunge. Kind of exhaling as you get there, finding your balance. Extend the front leg, inhaling. And maybe exhaling, which I exhale. Lean forward, inhaling, step it back. Navel in, exhale, lower down. Lift your chest, broaden through your shoulder blades. Down and up. Now we're going to repeat this. And to get more into the breath and more into the body, we're going to slow it down even a little bit more. So if it doesn't work with your breath, just breathe, okay? Uh, it's a little bit of an experiment here. So go with me. To the front, inhale. Long exhale, fold forward. High mountain, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Half lift, right leg, inhale. And exhale, lower down. Inhale, move further to the front, looking up. Exhale, move back. Fold forward over this left leg. Inhaling, bending the front leg again, all of the foot on the floor. Lifting up and exhale as you kind of get into this high lunge. Inhaling, extending the front leg. Long exhale, bending it again. Leaning forward, inhaling. Slow-mo moving the front leg back. Exhale, lower down. Lifting your chest. Down dog, exhale. If you feel out of breath or any discomfort, <laughs> make sure you breathe a little bit more right now before we just do it one last time on the other side. <sighs> to the front, inhale. Folding forward, exhaling. Inhaling, funnel, arms. Exhaling, folding forward. Half lift, left leg up. And slowly stepping that the knuckles of the toes back, exhale. Inhaling to the front. Moving back as you exhale. Inhale, 
Inhale again, rising up. Exhaling, maybe standing still in your high lunge. Lifting the front leg, inhale, or extending it rather. Bending it, exhale. Leaning forward, inhale, plank pose. Exhaling, lower down. Lift your chest. And maybe stay with your knees down, child's pose. And tune in on your body. Don't analyze, just sense. Is there any unbalances between left and right side, for example? Coming up onto your knees. We're going to do camel pose, a bit of a back bend. So I like to fold my mat for the sake of my knees, tuck the toes under. Now everybody can do a version of camel pose <laughs> because you don't have to lean a lot back. So you can take your hands, maybe your fingers point up if you can reach <laughs> and then lean back looking up. So your camel pose can, can be here, happy and glad. Or you can lean further back. I'm not going to go all the way today. If you go all the way, your hands would reach down on the, the heel. All right, lift up again, tall spine. Lean forward, finding tabletop and take the spine towards the sky. And then we're gonna move into more of our inner thighs coming up and release this folded mat. Step into a wide stand stance and just in the direction that makes sense so you can see the screen will not turn a lot. Um, I always suggest that you take your toes and point the toes a little bit inward so that your kneecap and your toes point the same way. And then lean forward and then we're just gonna kind of dance a little bit in this <laughs> wide-legged forward fold. So move softly from side to side, extending one leg, bending the other. And you might even play with moving your toes just because I said you couldn't before. <laughs> All right, but as you do these free movements, just Move as it makes sense in your body. You can even lift the heels off, take the toes off. And then pause in your forward fold. Maybe you wanna widen the distance in between the feet, whatever works for you. Take a hold of your angles or your calves. Feel that pressure on your head as you have your head down. Lifting the head up and then I kind of wiggle my feet a little bit closer. Actually, I'm going to do horse stance. So we'll still have a little bit of, of distance in between our legs. This time toes are pointing out. The patilla, the kneecap is, is going that way as well. So you see why this is horse stance, <laughs> riding the horse. And you can kind of move again here from side to side as we did before in our forward folds. So just play with, with your body here.
And we can even play more, also engaging our core by bringing our arms out to the side. So if you're out to your right side, you might bring your arms out there, engage your core, coming back like a wave to the other side, reaching out. So maybe move here. And of course, as the more low you go here, the more you're feeling your thighs. move up and stay here for a bit now let your toes point directly forward so you do the outer edge of your foot is aligned with the short end of the mat i'm going to go more into the side here so take your hands behind your head elbows out and as you lean to for example your right side make sure you go directly to the right side coming up and moving directly to the other side. And typically, when we stay here, the elbows tend to draw forward. But try to keep the arms out, maybe gaze up. So we'll move from side to side a little bit. Your root lock, your pelvic floor, can you involve that with a little bit of engagement beneath? Core engaged, navel in. If you want to go further with this one, you can actually extend your arms out. You'll bring more of your body weight out uh, away from your head, and this will engage your core even more. One more to each side. All right, and then lean forward. We're going to stretch our spine in down dog. So walk your hands to the top end of the mat to where they, where it fits so you can watch the screen. And then try to get the tailbone lifted up, almost like you have a, a tail and you want to wave with the tail. So kind of a little bit of an arch in your lower back. Draw the shoulder blades back in together. Two more breaths here. And then come down into child's pose. Forehead on the mat. Being present just in the here and now. Reminding yourself that overthinking, over planning, overdoing is not specifically holy or God given. But you can let go. And as you let go, God can step in, take control. It is not you everything depends on. God has his own timing. And we're just going to stretch for a short while pigeon pose reverse pigeon pose on your back if your knees uh, is hurting or that's just a knee issue if you want to do the traditional one bring the right leg to the front point the toes maybe you stay here with your hands up or maybe coming down on your elbows or sleeping pigeon where you come all the way down
Notice how your body is stretching in the thighs. Try to identify exactly where you feel something here. Identify if you can relax in the pose. And even if you move one millimeter or half an inch or something like that, if it changes the experience of the stretch, maybe it intensifies it, maybe makes it easier. Find that sweet spot in between those two. Calm your breath. Coming up on your hands again. Don't put any pressure on the bended knee. Exte instead, extend or take under the back toe there. Lean back, down dog, and stretch out any tension you might feel in your leg. If you're on your back, you simply just do the other side as we do here. Left leg to the front. Again, don't grab the, the shin and, and pull it forward, rather take the back knee and kind of wiggle your way back on the mat instead. Stay on your hands, come down your elbows or whatever you prefer. And notice if you feel anything in your knee joint. If you feel that, be extra aware. Maybe ease a little bit out of it. And how about your shoulders and your shoulder blades? Are they sort of relaxed as, as much as they can be in this one? Your jaw and face. And as we did before, slowly come out of it. This time you can actually come down on the left sitting bone there. Sit and maybe you want to do a little bit of windshield. Now, if you want to rest, I will suggest that you do that. If you can press pause on your thoughts, okay? If it doesn't really help you, maybe you want to do some free movement still on the mat because that might calm your mind more. Your body might be more tired, but your mind might be more at ease as you move. But if you feel like you're ready to rest and you have kind of settled down, you're maybe in that state of closing into a pause in your brain. <laughs> Extend the leg out and we'll stay here just for three minutes resting. And whenever thoughts arrive on in your mind, um, thoughts that you don't want to think about right now, just gently let them go. Exhale them into, into God's arms and let them be carried by God. And then focus on your breath or just some nice thoughts about yourself. So soften everything. Accept that all you have to do right now is lay down here. Breathe. And let your body be restored as you rest.
Take a deep inhale. Side up through your mouth. Move your angles, your wrists. And of course, if you need to stay on the mat, please do so, don't move. Maybe turn off the screen, but <laughs> if you're ready to come into a seat at some point, please do so. So I hope you enjoyed taking this pause with me and with God, knowing that we don't need to understand and analyze uh, and anything and everything. Now, I just want to encourage you to consider doing a retreat with me or with somebody else. It's such a great time to really get out of your own headspace and, and maybe get the new perspective on life that you need. Um, I have often retreats, cross yoga retreats in Malaga in the fall in Spain. And uh, this summer, 2022, I also have a retreat in Denmark. So take a look at the, the website, crossyoga.org, if you want to know more. Or sign up for my newsletter, you see that link at the bottom. You're also welcome to follow me on Instagram. It's Crush Yoga with Ria, and there I share also more um, wellness tips and tricks, and, and you can follow along in, in my life and uh, what, I am, what I'm doing uh, as a Crush Yoga instructor. Blessings on your path. May God be with you.